I need to get on some stages. So I had to back out of social media and go back over to stand up so but, I don't get rusty. But when you look at a country, Wayne, and you look at these guys that's making, uh, or, or Bubba Dub, that's making $100,000 in one month or $400,000 in one month, it's kind of hard to say they ain't going to be okay in the future. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You guys are, 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 you are like a new wave comedian, even though you old school. You yeah. might be the bridge. But at any rate, let me get this question now. You got some of you guys, when Faison was on here, Faison said that, uh, he said that basically the new the new way of doing comedy is is really not sustainable in so many ways because it does not pay residual income. And he says, uh, basically, he gets residuals. But then turn around, uh, Mike Bless came on here and said, no, Country Wayne is making $480,000 a month. But basically, he getting paid from Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, right? He's making. He don't get paid from t from TikTok or any of those nah, other avenues yet. Because it's not long enough. He do three minutes. Three minutes. Five <laughs> What's going on, hey. girl? I appreciate you coming back. I told I told this my boy Mike, man. Hey. Oh, yes, I'm Mike, big Mike. I give hugs. Oh, yeah. So he's making four hundred and fifty thousand dollars a month from social media. Damn. I've seen it. I ain't talking about it. this. Ain't no. This ain't no Google. This ain't no. I've seen you it. You live it. I, yeah, we living. I'm getting, listen, this is 55. <laughs> so, I live it. He live it. I'm he live that, this. I'm giving some of that money, too. <laughs> so just so y'all know. <laughs> this, this, is a, this is an AP bust down. This is 90. <laughs> I mean, I'm not trying to brag. I'm just saying this is right. 90. No, this I, get it. Right. I get it. I get it. This is social media money. Now, Mike, I ain't got money like Wayne. But anyway, so. <laughs> and this should be motivation for any of y'all who's trying to come Anybody who's trying to get on. And, it's motivation. Right. Because I want, my thing is, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm not trying to attack Faison. Right. I'm not trying to brag. I hate that we as a people are always the last to know how to get the damn money. And said that he's basically taking care of a whole bunch of people. And this question right here, I've got, you know, I got to see that there are some gaps in the comedian world because of the fact of some being on the stage and stand up and from the old way of doing things and some being on the stage and stand up and still in that social media world. So there's two different worlds that's trying to collide and, and, and basically you guys are having to work together a lot of times. How do, you, how do you look at the whole situation? Do you feel like the old way is better or the new way is better or, or, or what, do, what do you think? No, the, I ain't gonna say which is better because whatever works for you works for you. Like the old way taught you how to talk to people. Okay. Communicate. Get out here and meet people. The new wave, I can get on the internet, I post something funny, you like me. You don't even know me. You know what I'm saying? And you get to follow me. But the old school way, I'm out hand in hand. You got you got I got to bring it on stage. It ain't like no stop and redo. On the internet you mess up, you can stop, redo it before you post it. But people think it's easy doing social media. It's hard doing either one. For one, to be a stand-up comedian, if you're on stage, if you mess up, you got to correct it right then. Right. Because people will boo, and it's hard to come back for a, from a boo. I had somebody boo me the other night, but I, I'm reckless. I'm I'm with the shit. So, you know what I'm saying? You you come at me, I, I got jokes already that I know I'm going to say to you, make you shut up. So they got to messing with him. I said, no, nah, leave him alone. This is a comedy show. He want to be, he can, he can watch the show or be the show. So, you know, you got to be able to handle your business on stage. And even with on the internet, if you're an internet comic, you, it takes time to make, create the idea, make the idea come visual, and you got to video it, and you got to have the right angles. If you don't have the right angles or the mm -hmm. right lighting, it don't even, it's just like being on stage with a bad joke. Mm -hmm. So all that is hard work. So all the internet comments, I applaud you. You know what I'm saying? Because it's a lot of work. And you, you got to post not just once, three to four times a day. And think about it. You got Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Mm -hmm. You got to post all that three, four times a day, but you got to post different videos because if you post it on Facebook, you can't go back and post it on Instagram right then or, social, or the next one. So we shoot about 15, 20 skits a day. And whatever I post on this one, I post this one on this one and this and on that one, and then I go back and rotate the days. 
Well, what, what about that? Faison say that it does not pay residuals? Yes, so when you do. when you get older and you can't do them no more, or if you get something happen to where you don't have well, that outing, you right. don't have people, you don't have a, a, a source of income coming in like like the old comedians who did movies yeah. where they had those residuals coming that's, in. That's where I'm in at because I do movies too. I'm, <laughs> I'm I'm nine movies in and um really what. Yep. What movies have no. you been in? Well, eight movies. I did Slice 1, 2, and 3 with okay. Pierre. I did uh, Apartments with T.I. I just shot the movie um, Finding Love. Have that any of I've, all of these movies been out? No, the new ones, they're, they're about to get ready to drop. Okay. Um, I just did the Boosie movie, um, The Water Boys, and it's another movie I just did, Hole in the Wall. Wow. And I was on the Ricky Smiley, uh, Ricky Smiley for real. Wow. wow! People, people don't know that. So I'm, I'm out here. I'm not just stand up. I'm not just internet. I'm, I'm on TV too. <laughs> so you're the one that's able to understand that that there has to be a a, a balance yeah, in you between your comedian life and the way that you strive to accomplish it, right? Exactly. Because like when you're doing stand up, you're only in stand up world. So everybody that does stand up don't does social don't do social media. So when I went from stand up to doing social media. All the people I hung around that did social media, everybody didn't do stand up. So when you fall into that social media world, you forget, hey, look, I'm a stand up comedian too. So I had to back up off that and go back to the original people that put me in the game and like, hey, look, I need to get on some stages. So I had to back out of social media and go back over to stand up so but, I don't get rusty. But when you look at a country, Wayne, and you look at these guys that's making, uh, or, or Bubba Dub, that's making $100,000 in one month or $400,000 in one month, it's kind of hard to say they ain't going to be okay in the future. Well, you, when you make that type of money, you got to invest it the right way. That's true. You, you, I don't care, even if, if, you was a dog, if you sold dogs for a living, if you don't invest your money the right way, then, hey, look, who's to say you're going to make it in the future? Even a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Even people that get residuals off movies. If you don't invest your money the right way, all that money can blow in real real quick. And when you say invest, not only invest in your future, but invest back into you, as in with a comedian, what I would think is investing in whether paying the right person to be on one of your skits just to get seen more. Because I'm sure not everybody that you put in your skits do it just on the on the real. Yeah, some, some people you might have to actually hire to be in the skit. Sometimes you don't have to get people that's big to be seen more. You just got to have the right people for the right video. Okay. The right bit because you can. Yeah, you seen a movie that got a whole lot of stars, a mm. whole lot of hit people. In I don't it. like those. And when you see it, the video, the movie, not even as good. Mm. Or a basketball team got all the all star players on it, right. and they they still not that good. Right. I would name a team, but I don't want to put them out there. You know what, <laughs> what I'm saying? But I think y'all know who I'm talking about. But um, I'm a Laker fan, no, no, regardless of what a uh, who playing die hard Laker fan, mm -hmm. but. It's not. It's not who you do the video with. It's putting the right people on the right video to where it makes sense. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One Hundred and One. Yeah, we gonna talk.